that was feathered by the geothermal heat exchanger to the rear of our depot. The council decommissioned that bore in June 06. So now people just swim in all three four water, which is heated on gas. two-story bluestone cottage and was completed in 1857. Gardens have over 300 varieties of roses, over 200 varieties of native plants and over 130 different varieties of dahlias. We do not plant the dahlias in the main part of the garden until the end of November so they play out predominantly for Anzac Day for use in four weeks. In the 1850s they had got the illegal Chinese immigrants to help build the gardens and at that time they were double the size they are now. They also had then a golf course, a tennis court and a rotunda. On our right hand side is the back of the curator's cottage with the slate roof. They've just recently in the past year changed the slate roof of the local Anglican church source the slate from its original source in Wales. And on the left hand side there across the road there's an armor tree with a rock underneath it and that rock commemorates the site of the immigration department building by the early 1840s. We had over 11,000 immigrants come here, mainly from the United Kingdom. And we're coming up to the main entrance, this tree to the right of the main entrance which is a Norton Day fig tree. That um, tree is well over 170 years old. It's three years old. The extreme right is the curator's cottage and then in the centre of the grounds, a pre-required building. And that is the headquarters 